Hey, welcome back to another legacy video. My name is Chris and today we are going to be demonstrating the dining chair project that was featured in this year's Legacy Teacher Summit and will also be demonstrated at the 2019 AWFS Fair. Now throughout the project, we are going to be focusing on the joinery and how we used all three workstations to produce traditional joints for every chair component. Legacy's three workstation platform allows us to combine multiple cutting processes to make us more productive. For example, here we are first pocketing the mortises for the legs and then cutting them out afterwards. Our Legacy CNC machines also allow us to work on very thick or tall components. Because of the 10 inch z-axis stroke, we were able to set up a machine the second mortise for the legs. Next we cut out the back splats. Naturally there are other power tools that can produce these rectangular components in a faster way. But every time that your hands are close to a cutting tool, there is a small chance that accidents can happen. For this example, the CNC does have a safety advantage. This chair project required a variety of jigs and fixtures. For example, the 7 degree angle bracket was cut out on the CNC and made it very easy to adjust the angle for the mortise and tenons. The joinery along the ends of the back splats were mounted by using the vertical vice workstation. The 7 degree tenon was easily produced and duplicated for every part. If we ever needed to replicate this chair, we wouldn't need to hang on to our precious jigs and fixtures because the CNC can produce them for us. That and the CAD CAM and G-code files take up a lot less space. This shoe component for the chair is a pretty complex part. It needed joinery on three sides and curved faces along two sides. A legacy can produce all the necessary steps using two separate workstations. First, tenons were machined on both ends in the vertical vise. Each tenon was cut off center so that it could only be assembled in one way. Next, the part is rotated along the length to pocket out the mortises for each back splat. Last, the part is mounted onto the three-axis table and is carved on both sides to shape the curved faces that conform to the back. Now let's move on to Legacy's final workstation, the Turning Center. This allows us to produce joinery along turned and index surfaces. This application removes additional part handling and chances for errors. Here the part is indexed to produce mortise pockets along two sides of the chair legs. On behalf of Legacy, we want to thank one of our customers, Ed Bennett, for helping our very own John Hennon in producing the dining chair project. Now watch out for the dining chair follow-up video where we will take the current design and we will elevate it into an heirloom piece of furniture. Also come see Legacy at the AWFS Fair July 17th through the 20th of 2019 where a variety of projects like the chair will be demonstrated. To learn more and to stay updated with Legacy and what we're doing at the show, click the link right over there and sign up for Legacy's emails. To learn more about Legacy Woodworking, the company, and the CNC machines we manufacture, click the link right down there to watch the Legacy CNC Story video. Make sure to subscribe and check the little bell icon to receive email notifications every time a video is released. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.